Hi there and welcome back to Triplicate. Now, you know that feeling when you've had a, a fight with something that should be easy? Well, for about the 20th time today, <laughs> I've pressed that button and watched those four lines come on that up on that display. Deary me. Anyway, that is not today's uh, project issue. Whatever. Today's is my audio system. Now, I did a video oh, where I took a, an amplifier module um, bought off eBay and mounted in the, that box and it seemed okay but uh, it wasn't okay to the point I never turn it on now and I use my headphones all the time and even my headphones are buzzing so I need to sort out the audio in here so I think first I will check that everything is working okay as far as the output to that amplifier before I get into looking at that amplifier. So I have this little mixer. I can get the get it in the camera shot which is donkey's years old and needs a wipe. Um, so I'm not saying there isn't a problem with that even. So I will start with this and the headphones and disconnect just about everything. Um, now I will put my headphones on my head and see if it's still buzzing. It does not make for very good video because you can't hear what the headphones are doing. I might turn you off here and just have a play around and come back and tell you what I've found out. Okay, so disconnected everything from the mixer and played with it and it's definitely buzzing even with everything turned down. <coughs> also, I discovered and I'll try and put this so it's in shot. Oh, there we go. So I've got this set to ohms, and if I put the meter between the ground and the mixer, and this, which is grounded. To mains ground it goes absolutely weird and if I use volts AC we get 15 volts AC which surely shouldn't happen they should be completely isolated and you see what happens on DC no, no DC so I think my poor old Soundcraft Folio notepad is a bit sick. So I now have from a cupboard I have another phonic mixer, an MM10002. I use one of those for mixing the inputs, the microphone and what have you for recording to the computer. And we try the same again. And I tried my little music player, again, ancient, out of a cupboard, into the headphones, and there's a slight amount of hiss, but by the time you can hear that, the music, when you turn it back up, is definitely loud. So, we're going to go with this one. So, what we want to be sure of is that there's no con connection between the audio ground and the mains ground 
unless we specifically make one because if there is certainly more than one we get earth loots we get hop so here we have the admittedly being retired folio mixer and that is pre actually pretty good pretty much isolated just check the meter uh, which I think because that is it actually has a transformer in it by the weight of it and interestingly enough when I took this out it says on the bottom uh, that I guess is the serial number and 1995 I'm guessing is 1995 so it's 25 years old so it doesn't owe me anything and made in England don't see that very often these days okay now let's do the same for the phonic this is its mains plug so put one probe on there check we get continuity through there and put it on there so that's good that's not producing any any kind of connectivity between the mains ground and the audio ground so far so good and finally for now the only other thing we have in the circuit is the digital to analog converter which takes a optical signal from the computer so shall we try this this is the power supply for this I'm not sure whether this is came with it or it's the one I had anyway so same short circuit there that's good and the connection to the audio let's try that one as well and that one open circuit so we should now be able to get sound from the computer into the headphones without any earthing problems so I'll turn you off and connect it all back up and we'll see if it works okay so that's the DAC plumbed in and this wire goes up to the mixer this wire goes down to the power down there this is the optical wire which goes everything stuffed out of the way in the back to the D to A and that's the optical coming out of there and it's quiet as a mouse a quiet mouse that is right and here we have an mp3 a Pulsar Demo MP3 and of course you can't hear it but that sounds good in the headphones and there's no noise if I turn it off right so now it's time to look at the power amplifier okay this is the power supply I'm using for the power amplifier shall we see how well isolated this is from ground that is the negative apparently and that is the plug Okay, I'll take that and just check against there. 
Right, okay, so that is good. So let's connect it to the amplifier and see what happens. Okay, I have to bear with the fact we're working on top of the laptop and the camera angle is a bit odd. Uh, it's connected to the speakers and I don't want to unplumb it all and move it about. So here it is, the power supply is on. This knob here is off on and volume, there's nothing connected to the input. And if we turn it on, oh, that's not good. And the fact that if you touch the volume knob and get a load more crud. So, to be fair, its inputs are floating, so should we try grounding its inputs? Okay, so that's uh, <laughs> popping and buzzing and God knows what. And again, if I touch the volume knob, it gets louder. And if I plug the lead in, it goes crazy. It's a lot better, but it's still coughing. That's a lot better, but it's still... You can probably hear it on the camera, just fizzing a bit. Still increases if I put that, put my finger on the volume control, and what happens if I try? Sounds like the whole thing is just completely unstable. So I might take A, take the top off, and B, get rid of that variable and use some batteries, and then we'll see where we are from that. Right, so here I have a pack of 10 rechargeable batteries. Outputting 10, 12.8 volts. So, should we use these rather precariously? You see what I'm doing? No. To power the thing up. Well, it's got rid of all that crackle, but it's still hissing. Okay, so even stranger camera angle. Right, so I have here 12.8 volts worth of rechargeable batteries. That's 10 batteries which I've actually connected to a plug instead of having the leads floating as they were before. Couldn't possibly short them together. Just as well, YouTube doesn't have smell. Okay, so we have the Pulsar demo running. Now this is the power supply that I got for the power amplifier, so should we try that? And that's not good. And that's at about normal listening level. Okay, so now we're going to plug the battery back in, like that. And we can hear quite a lot of hiss. And if I turn the music on... Mostly drowns out the hiss, it was sort of almost usable. And if I can. So 
if I turn the mixer right up and that right down, it's better. Right, well, so what do we conclude? I think what I'm going to conclude is that this is a pile of junk. Um, I guess the chip's alright. The chip probably works fine, but the implementation seems to be very unstable and very noisy. And I can't be bothered to p p pursue it anymore. I mean, maybe I'm doing something ridiculously wrong, but the <laughs> there's an audio input, two speaker outputs, and a power input. How wrong can you go with that? Uh, would it work better if it was in a metal box? I don't think so. So, as I say, I'm going to call it a fail on this, and I'm going to look for another audio power amp module and probably make another video of trying to get that work and see if that works any better. So on that rather disappointing note um, I think I'm going to call time on this video. Um, if you found it interesting uh, leave a comment or a thumbs up. If you like the channel please subscribe but for now it's uh, goodbye from Triplicate, home of interesting electronics. Goodbye. Alright, just one more time.